so excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Rich and Chris, are you ready to see your new home? Yes. yes. Oh, oh my God. God. Okay, so this is it, isn't it? This, this is, is this, is, this is officially the start of season two. Yes, season two starts right now on the banks of the Gila River in the Gila Wilderness. Okay, okay, we're gonna make a final walkthrough and then be on the road. All right. Gila National Forest, here we come. Here we come. I'm going redneck, Dagnabbit. You're going redneck? What does that mean? <laughs> I have perfectly good food here and I don't want to throw it away. It's a bunch of celery and some pepperoni. <laughs> celery is perfectly good food. Yeah, but it's like four cents. So, <laughs> that's that's the thing. It's like, it's like four cents worth of celery she stuffed in that bag. 2,600 pounds of... 26? You well, said 2,600 pounds. Oh, no. 16, 18, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 80. 1680. 16, <laughs> We have to weigh this again because I don't think it's 1680 anymore. Well, it's, it, may be, it may be about 30 pounds heavier. Oh, that makes it over 1,700 pounds. Please be careful. Well, it, um, it as, uh, as my buddy Carl said, the reason why it's so heavy, it's those big old bowling balls you got carrying between your legs. Conscience. Yeah, that's pretty cool actually. Uh, I have different respect for Walmart for I'm, that. I'm digging the shade, let me tell you. After yeah. eating lunch out in. Yeah, what the f? Why didn't we come over here? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we should have just bought a sandwich from Walmart. Yeah. We would have if we would have seen this shit. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Yeah. So, what are you what are you doing? Guess how much I spent. Sure. Eighty bucks. Four dollars and thirty-five cents. Four dollars and thirty-five cents. I know, I'm not for sure if she rung it up right. I didn't look at it. Just shoved it in here. Four dollars <laughs> and thirty-five cents. Yeah. 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 That's what it came up to. Everything came up to four dollars and thirty-five yeah. cents. One whole bag. Usually we can spend hundreds of dollars on one whole bag. <laughs> so here you go. Good Where luck. am I gonna put it? I that's what. That's I. You came out with a whole bag. You saw the space we had. I know. And I, you came out with a I whole bag. To be, okay, so we have we have asparagus for tonight. No, no, it's not a matter of what we have. <laughs> it's a matter of how much space we have. I know we have. You saw how much space we have. <laughs> here, let me show you. <laughs> this is this is what this is what Chris went into the store with in mind of how much space. So what's going on? Oh yeah, so he noticed that the tire was low. And is it? 
I, I think so. I just want to see what looks like uh, 40 PSI. Ten minutes later, he's still at it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to be bent over like this. I need to sit down and do this. Uh, it's literally going to be that long. Really? Yeah, with wow. this little pump. Wow. With this little pump. Very well could be. Okay, did you have an epiphany? I did. I did. You know what? You know what? You know what? You have something else. That's I, I have a lot a, easier than this. I sure do. Check this out. <laughs> so let's put this back. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? What the hell? I was gonna get my chair out and yeah, and you know camp out. camp out here for a couple days while I pump this tire up. The only drawback is, is it's down here. Okay, what you got there? Dyna plug. Air uh, pump. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I remember having this because we filled up. What's his name? Remember? A trailer tire. Yeah. Yeah. And it did really, really well if I remember correctly. You haven't used it on any of the bike things yet? Uh, not the bikes, no. Keep filming when there's when I'm doing something, you just keep filming. <laughs> there you go. What am I supposed to do with that? You're gonna go with this end, okay? And gonna, uh, hold I, on a second. I do what with this end? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you don't know where my plugs <laughs> no, are, do you? No, right here is a 12 volt outlet, okay? All righty, okay? Okay, I can... so when I when I tell you, yeah, all right, so go ahead and plug it in, okay? Hold, please. Really, it doesn't fit. Oh, no. Right. Go ahead, plug it in. Okay, okay, I'm plugging it in. Just right here. In this one? No. Okay, hold please. Technical difficulties. All right. Got it? Yeah. Does it fit? Is it long enough? I'm going to turn my key on. I have to turn the key. <laughs> so how do you know how much air oh you have an air gauge Yes, sir. Oh, it looks like. Well, if you're going to be here for a few days, we might be able to fit you somewhere. Okay.
tent. Oh, right next to the river. That's the best part. Isn't that beautiful? First, we wanted to say, yes, I know, that was pretty cheesy. We're not actors. <laughs> no. Chris and Rich, you ready to see your new home? Yeah, that was goofy, but we did it anyway. We did Whatever. it. It was, we, actually, we had a lot of fun, and we just want to, we want to showcase our living arrangements. So, and another thing that, that we didn't cover is the fact of what type of tent this is. This is a... It's a REI kingdom six tent with a mud room attached we've got the accessory uh, attachment for the mud room and the reason why we chose this tent the so it's such a large tent is because we are full-time and when we stay when we stay someplace we're gonna stay for three four days at a time and we want the ability to be able to stand up on on the sides and if you notice this REI tent it's very tall on the sides and it has plenty of tie downs for the wind. We haven't experienced the wind yet. No, or the but, rain. <laughs> or the rain, but we That's may okay. be getting some today, um, a little bit of rain, but I doubt if we're gonna get any wind down in this canyon. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty secluded. But we don't really travel, or right now we're not traveling like most motorcyclists, is you go and you tour a beautiful area and you either hotel or tent camp, you get up in the morning and you're off again. And what we wanna do is really immerse ourselves in the area that we're in. So right. we want to be able to stay somewhere for maybe a, up to a week at a time. And it's been nice here being able to do... <laughs> I could stay all longer. Of, well, just to do all <laughs> the things that are here, you know. Yes. They're just great. Yes. But anyway, we hope that you enjoy this sneak peek at what our living arrangements look like. And... <laughs> So, asparagus and pork chops, right? Yep. Ooh. Ooh, what? These are leaking. It was weird leaving the big house with the shower and the bed and all the creature comforts. Yes. And making that first leap out here, knowing that they this was supposed to be a primitive campsite. Well, it is a primitive. And it campsite. is a primitive because there's no there's no there's showers, no showers here. But the fact now I'm thinking, okay, this is piece of cake because there's my shower right over there, and there's also hot water right over there with yeah. the spring yes and the picnic table and now i'm nervous because now we're talking about taking that next step and going to going to the forest a, off 150 feet off of a forest road yes. <laughs> that's what it's coming to right without now now i want my picnic table well now yeah i know now we're not gonna have a picnic table we're just gonna have that small table that we have yeah and this water needs to be filled up before we go to camp. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Richard locked himself out. We'll let him figure it out. We'll go back this way. Now, on back to motorcycles. Let's continue with your regularly scheduled program. We're Woo! doing a cinematic thing. Oh, is that what we're doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was weird. Am I supposed to say something again? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're supposed to continue talking, not just, <laughs> just say talk. something, just stop, stop talking. Okay. It was, you know, continue with your story. So you want to start that again? Yeah.